Hi, I'm Barbara, the Adult Services Librarian at the North Brunswick Library. And I just wanted to tell you that yesterday was November 11th, so not only was it Veterans Day, but it was also Origami Day. So for Origami Day, uh, perhaps take the time to sit down, find your Zen, and practice this ancient art that originated in Japan as early as 105 AD. All you need to do to practice origami is you need to have paper and a flat surface. Now, the other celebration that I wanted to note was that NASA's James Webb Space Telescope will launch on December the 18th. And this telescope um, is composed of hexagon shapes pieced together. Uh, so that's why today we're going to be doing an origami hexagon wall art. Uh, so, and I also wanted to add that NASA uh, uses origami. Their engineers uh, use origami to create uh, pieces for the telescope and, and also for other uh, things that NASA does. So origami is very important to NASA also. So today we're going to be folding an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper into hexagon shapes to piece together into wall art. Okay, so let's get started. I'm just going to turn the camera. Up like that. I'm going to get a piece of paper. So I'll use this piece. And then I'm going to start by, and this is eight and a half by 11. I'm going to start by, you know, with the white side facing up, and I am going to fold that exactly in half. Increase it good. Then I am going to open it. I like to put it this way and it's easier for me to fold it. So you're going to fold one side into the middle where you just made that crease. And then make another crease. And then I find it easy again to turn it and then fold the other side into the middle and make that crease. Okay, so the next thing that you're going to do, you open up one side and you take um, the left side and what you're going to do is where you have the crease right here, you're going to make a point. So, let's see, that comes, a point right by the, that crease. And then the upper part is actually going to, that point is going to come exactly to the side of this folded piece. So again, make a good crease. And then this piece here, so when we folded it that, that one time, we have a crease right here. There is a crease. I don't know if you could see it, but if you're following along with me, it is like right here. So I'm gonna take that and fold along that crease. So see we have one triangle here. I'm going to fold it along just all the way over, turn it, and then fold the bottom piece back up and make my crease. So wanting to make another triangle here, what I'm going to do is bring this side up and just bring it all the way up high, line it up the best you can, and then see, you have a pointy edge there. Make your crease. So now we have one, two, three triangles. The next thing we're gonna do is then fold the bottom side up. Okay, so now we have another triangle. One, two, three, four, five. So this is the last triangle that we're going to make. And 
The last thing we're going to do, let me just make sure this is even, kind of get your paper as even as possible, is you're going to fold that triangle up. It looks a little uneven, but you're going to tuck it under. So here's the very first triangle that we started with. There's a pocket there. So you're going to tuck this under. Try to tuck it the best you can so you don't see any white. Ugh, we do have a lot of white, but I can hide that. Um, yeah, it's not hidden that good, but I'm going to give you a little tip. Well, let me show you one that I did before. This button shape hides that. So if you have a button, you could put it on here. Or if you have a bead, um, you know, something that would cover that so that you have a perfect hexagon. Okay, so then, you know, of course you'll want to have colors that match, so you would just be joining them like this. And to piece them together, I would just say on this side is to put a piece of tape. And then, you know, you could just piece a lot of them together to make a piece of wool art. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and give it a try. Take care everyone. Bye-bye.